Right. Let's see what stumped Daylight Layla this time. Hmm. She hasn't touched the third year of old Starlocks yet. They definitely need working through. And there's a few charts to be appended to the midterm report, which... Yep, she hasn't even started drawing up yet. All right, time to get to work. Oh, huh? What are you doing up? You should be asleep right now. Me? Sleepwalking, of course. I agree. I don't like having to pull an all-nighter to catch up on schoolwork either, but they just keep piling on the assignments, don't they? That's how things go here. So obviously I have to help her out. <laughs> Wanna keep me company? <sighs> oh, where's that glowing coming from? I could have sworn I turned the lights off before I fell asleep. Oh, it's just my vision. No wonder. Oh, wait, but didn't didn't I leave this on my nightstand? The chief editor of our Darshan keeps starlocks that show the fates of all living beings. They are, without a shadow of a doubt, the apex of astronomical knowledge. The first time I saw one, I was scared speechless. Oh, uh, are you interested? If you just want to take a quick look, let me put in an application for you. I think it should be fine. Uh, I think. Mona Magistus, the astrologist. Her astrology column in the Steambird is well known among Ritawahi's scholars. Her articles always cover super specialized topics, but can still be appreciated by non-academics. That's no easy feat. Huh? Her name seems to just roll off my tongue? Oh, uh, that's just because I, I have a lot of respect for uh, amazing people. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Lisa Minchi, the legendary Spontamod prodigy who graduated in just two years. If only I had her brains. Huh? You met her in person when you were in Mondstadt? R really So, what's her studying process like? What books does she read and what kind of work does she do? Where, where should I start if I, if I want to learn from her? Oh, D Dory. <clears throat> I, I took the plunge and bought something from her once. She looked euphoric as I was settling the bill. I think she assumed I was some sort of mega-rich person. Kept relentlessly sending product ads to me in the mail afterwards. Ugh, biggest mistake of my life. I paid such a huge price for it. Because not only did I spend all of my scholarship money in one go, but for most of the next year I had to survive mainly on cheap vegetables. And I couldn't buy textbooks unless they were on sale. <laughs> The General Mahamatra is really good at Genius and Vacation TCG? Oh, I wonder if... <laughs> I mean, if I ever got the chance, maybe I could play a game with him. Card games like Genius and Vacation TCG are always easier when <laughs> you're good at mental math, so... Actually, I... I don't know, but <laughs> I might not necessarily lose to him. Huh. I saw someone who matches that description when I woke up after sleepwalking for the first time. Candace, huh? Now I know. I still remember the moment I woke up. All of my reports and essays were done. At that time, it felt like... Like, after pleading to the stars for days and days, now... Now they'd finally heard me and sent a messenger to help me. Huh? I... I felt so touched. I bet someone who's good enough to get a job like Scribe never has to worry about whether their projects will get approved or be successful. Oh, wait. Oh, oh shoot. If he's a Scribe, he probably doesn't have to do any projects in the first place. So lucky. Dear mighty god of wisdom, I've been studying late into the night for days on end. Please let me pass this exam. Please. Please. <laughs> Has Professor Farazan managed to get any students? P. 
people from the Haravitat Darshan say that she always has difficulty getting funding for her projects, so it's hard for her to attract students, too. Hmm. My relationship with my advisor? Uh, um, uh, how, how should I put it? Oh, don't get me wrong. She's been good to me. She, she even gave me a recommendation when I started at the school, and every time I feel like I just can't go on, she's there to give me some, some much-needed encouragement, and then to assign me another essay right after. Almost all of Sumeru's best and brightest have attended the academia, and there are a ton of scarily intelligent international students, too. So you can imagine how competitive it is here. Studying alongside some of these people, sometimes it makes me wonder, am I really cut out for this? Someone once told me about a mysterious merchant who was selling really effective sleep gummies. It cost all my scholarship money, plus all the other more I'd saved up. But I bought some. They worked great, and for a while I slept like a baby, but... There are 200,000 more a box. I can't afford that. I, I can't let myself buy them ever again. Nope, no way. Not even if they were buy one, get one free, or... Well, buy one, get two free. Hmm. Actually... Maybe I'd consider that. 